This is a demonstration of the open source configuration software for the CHR60 inertial measurement unit. The, uh, the unit's connected right now and it's running. So we'll go here and we'll connect it to the IMU and start data plotting. So you can see the data coming off the IMU. The graphs on the right hand side are the rate gyros and the graphs on the left hand side are the accelerometers. So uh, if I pick up the IMU and start moving it, you can see how the uh, how the accelerometers change on the left, and how the rate gyros reflect rates on the right. Okay, so there's an automatic gyro zeroing function we can call, and it takes uh, about six seconds for the rate gyros to zero out and you can see then that the uh, bias dropped after it was zeroed. Uh, these graphs automatically zoom in uh, so you can get a picture of how much noise there is. There's an onboard filter on the IMU that can be configured right now. The corner frequency is set at 140 Hertz. Um, so we can change that. So if I, uh, if I drop this to 10 Hertz on the X gyro Go ahead and watch the noise on the X gyro plot here. As soon as I commit those changes to RAM, you can see that the noise drops by uh, by a significant amount actually. So the the corner frequency you can set in 10 hertz increments between 10 hertz and 140 hertz, and the number of taps that's used in the filter can be changed as well. So you can reduce the number of taps, and the uh, the pass band is a little wider and the attenuation is a little less but there's less phase delay which can be important in some applications. The communication can be changed. Uh, the broadcast frequency right now is set at about uh, 240 Hertz but we can drop that um, by quite a bit so that it transmits less frequently or we can switch modes and uh, put it in listen mode where it only transmits data when a uh, request is received over the UR. The biases for the accelerometers and gyros can also be changed manually. So if I changed this, for example, then you can watch the X gyro right there. You can see that the bias changed because I changed it here. Of course, I can always rerun the zero gyros command and uh, the, gyro, the uh, IMU stops sending data while the uh, zero command operates and then there we have the data zeroed. So that's that.